here I am giving the viewers what they are asking for more long form videos we got some stealth gameplay again but this time with the bugs on hell dive we're doing the emergency evacuation mission i think a good place to drop would be in between both of these objectives i'm going to be taking the scout helmet scout armor so that we can be stealthy with the green cape to match the slugger as my primary p19 redeemer as my secondary and i'm going to be taking the g6 frag for stratagems we're going to go with the star wars rocket trooper build jump pack build uh boba fett build you're going to take jump pack amr eat rockets and you're going to take the 500 kg the booster is localized confusion jump pack good for the bugs to get out of a tight situation get height some bugs can't climb the eat rocket is mainly for the chargers and also to finish bile titans if you can't get them to be finished with the 500 kg uh, 500 kg is for the bile titans if you can accurately place it underneath them or hit them with it they automatically die but it's kind of hard to do um, i do it a couple of times in this video and i'll explain what i'm thinking when i do it so i call in my anti-material rifle and my jump pack i'm trying to decide which objective to go to and eventually i decide to go with the one on the southeast side it looks like southwest now first thing i'm thinking is we got bile spewers and luckily i took the sniper because this thing just destroys them in one hit my favorite thing to do and honestly one of the main reasons i take it versus the bugs is to one hit all medium tier bugs I spot this patrol, so I jump on top to try and stealth my way past them, but they heard, unfortunately, they heard my eat rocket being shot down. I call down the eat rocket so that I can take care of any chargers that come my way. And I was hoping they don't spot me, but this little guy spots me and they start calling a bug breach, which is a big no-no. The reason is, is that you can easily get overwhelmed if bug breaches keep getting called and called, which is why I take the booster localized confusion so that once the bug breach comes into play, once they call the bug breach, there's a longer cooldown before a bug can call another, which is good. It gives you some time, especially if you're playing solo. So I threw my first KG, it didn't kill on first hit because the Bow Titan moved. I'm hoping this one does, but I <laughs> the pilot decided he had other plans. So my last resort is my Eat Rockets. I'm just gonna hold this area because this Bow Titan cannot reach me over here and it allows me to take care of the other ads. When you're constantly running away from a bow titan you don't really get that much time to take care of other ads and you might run out of ammo etc so here i'm just allowed to just hunker down and wait for my cooldowns i have three chargers on the bottom and i'm just going to wait it out this guy literally can't get to me which is great so i'm just setting up for the objective Now the reason I take the redeemer is for the number of smaller bugs that I might have to go against. The redeemer is great. One to two hits these smaller bugs, uh, hunters as well. You just have to be decent with the accuracy. My eat rockets come down, so I take out one and this other one behind me is my other problem so i know i'm not going to be able to kill a bio titan with one eat so i just use it on one of the lingering chargers I try to use the cover to my best of my ability here because i got spit at, at two different directions 
And I just need to reposition. Because another Bile Titan spit is coming. I just don't want to be one shot. I'm very squishy with this build. And unfortunately, I have to deal with this. Uh, the stealth didn't work out in the beginning, but I promise it works out later. You'll see. Use my other Eat Rocket that fell down on that charger. He was just chilling there. And I'm just going to rotate again. My 500 kg is up. So I'm going to try again to one-shot this guy. And what you want to do basically is try to get him to spit. Or have the kg down and then get him to spit. Uh, it was right behind him but not just not close enough. So he did get damaged but it is what it is. Another patrol is coming, so I'm just like, I'm going to kind of start this up because I'm going to be wasting too much time fighting patrol. It's about time they can call another bug breach, which they did. The bug breach detected. If you're not quick with disposing everything around you and another patrol comes, you're just going to be an endless cycle. One of the cool things about playing solo is that you have the resupply all to yourself. So you can basically call a resupply at every POI, every objective that you're going to be playing at. Doing my best to fend everything. The 500 kg worked on the Bile Titan, so it's just cleaning up the rest and then we can finish the objective. The hunters are the worst enemy that you can go against, I'd say, because they screw up any other plans you have with their slow and their leap. Eat rockets to face kills all chargers in one hit. Calling another eat rocket because these eat rockets have a very short cooldown. And this is why I take them. Dispose of all these chargers that come my way or use them for bile titans. I could use like a Quasar for this, but you have to charge it up. And say if I'm in a pinch and there's too many ads on me, it's easier to just pick up a rocket and shoot it versus wait the charge time and then also rate the reload time. And then I'll have str some struggle uh, with the medium tier enemies like the bile spewers. But the AMR allows me to just one hit all the medium tiers. Redeemer allows me to take care of all the low tiers. And then the EAT and 500 kg allows me to take care of everything else. So this objective's done, I'm going to start heading up to the northern quadrant of the map to get to the next objective, which is the same objective, so we're going to start making our way. So every so often, the enemy has a chance to call in a bug breach, or if you're playing the bots, the bot drop. Um, localized confusion stops that, and it's about time since the last bug breach that we can probably have another one. So I have to be careful and take out any bugs that might be calling. I shot those two eats at the chargers and the bile spear started to come at me, but the AMR makes quick work of it. I call in my 500 kg and what I'm trying to do here is bait him into meleeing so he stays still and it was perfect. So he dies in one hit. What you can try to do is bait either the spit or bait the melee. I feel like the melee does work a little better, but you have to be careful not to kill yourself with the fire to KG. So no bot drop was called, which is great. We took care of everything and we're just gonna do this objective. As I'm making my way to the final objective, I have both uplinks up. Now it's just to evacuate the priority citizens. I come across this small little POI and I want the samples there. So I'm going to call in my anti-tank for the charger. 
As soon as it drops, the enemies here as they turn around, and I just use that to pop the charger in the head. That brood commander started to call. I one shot him, and it cancels the call. And then just finish off the job with the rest. But the brood commander sometimes may call after you shoot its head off. It's kind of like a glitch. And, you know, still get a bug breach off. So that patrol heard everything. They're trying to investigate. They don't know where I am. And I'm just going to play to my armor strength and pick up, pick up the samples that I wanted while going in prone. Crouch decreases your detectability by a bit, but being in prone is the best you can be. You can be almost on top of an enemy and they won't even notice you. So if you're spotted like while you're running, if you crouch or go prone, they'll basically lose sight of you. So you see here, I'm like running and then going crouch just in case they see me. And once I get enough distance is when I start to head to the objective and just keep going. So we make it to this little scouting patrol up here. Just take them out real quick so that they don't call in a bug drop on me. And I notice these spores, so I'm going to call my expendable anti-tank. There's one on each side, so one shot to each and it takes them out, which is great. How convenient. You could just use a weapon and such, but I just wanted to be a little quicker here. Alright, here's when the stealth really comes into play, because this whole iteration here in the beginning is all attributed to this armor and the bugs not detecting me. I saw the patrol to my left, so I went to my right and decided just to push this way. I can just take these guys out quickly and then continue. I don't want a bug drop at all, basically. I'm just trying to limit the amount of bug breaches that I have. Another short patrol here and take them out quickly and decide to shift focus to the actual OBJ. I'm just looking around to see if nobody's behind me and then start to snipe. Now, the bugs don't really know where I'm at. They know where the shot's coming from, they can hear it, but they still don't know what's going on. I'm still fairly hidden, except this bug <laughs> patrol behind me came out of nowhere and jump scared me. So these guys get taken out and I'm just going to continue to run and wrap around where originally I thought I was going to go. And I close enough distance off that they lose aggro on me. Like they know where I'm at, but I don't know how to explain it. You'll see. AMR makes quick work. We'll play shots in the head. You know what I think about it now is probably the tremor that reset their aggro. So the tremors stun all the bugs and they just stand still. And these guys don't know where I'm at. Have a case of democracy. You can see some of them like um, perch up, meaning like, oh, there's somebody there. But they're just walking, like this one just perched up. You know, they're just walking to, I guess, what they heard. They're just trying to scout. Like this guy just perched up too. So, armor really helped here. No bug drops. That expendable I brought down was used for this guy. Because there's always going to be a charger on this site area. There's always going to be one there.
Now that everything's cleared off, I can just do the objective. Just make sure you're always putting down your expendable anti-tank because it's such a low cooldown and if you know you're going to be in the area for a long time, you can stack them up, basically. Call in the resupply, call in everything that you have, extra jump packs, extra stuff, just in case you need it. Because this objective in particular takes a long time. I waited a bit here to get a little closer so that I don't risk a bug drop, but this guy got it off. I thought I killed him. Threw me off guard. So, if you have a bug breach and you throw a 500 kg directly on it and you're close enough, the bio titan actually just automatically, without an animation, shoots, spits at you. And you can use that to your advantage to get a one shot, cheap kill. Alright, now that everything's coming down a bit, I can try to start sending these citizens to evac. We don't have any uh, chargers, no heavies, no vials. Almost died here. So I have a patrol here, it spawns in and I decided to use AMR, again one shots, all the medium tiers which is great. Before it used to take two shots on the brute commanders, but after the buff, the 30% damage buff, it takes one. Alright, here's a good example on why you call down your anti-tanks all over the place. Just so that if you need it, it's there. And I didn't have to call one down and wait for it. I have one ready. It's just trying to wait for this guy to get in a good position for me to shoot. Eventually he aggros to me and I pop him. And unfortunately, there was one calling a bug breach right behind one of those dead bodies. So... I couldn't get him. Calling another 500 kg. He's gonna spit, and I already called it down, so it should kill him. And there you go. I know there's another expandable up here because, like I said, you should be calling in a whole bunch. Call it in again. We're going to need it for this Bile Titan. Get some, get some! Rinse and repeat. So after I shot all those eats at this Bile Titan, he's still up. I have to rotate because I have all of these guys coming at me and I want to make sure that I can shoot as many of them as possible and try to stop any bug breaches that may be called. And I can't do that if the Bile Titan's on me. So it buys me some time to jump away and just start to focus on the smaller ads. Now I have no more hunters on me, I could just focus on the Bile Titan again. And I'm also using the terrain to block because apparently he can't break this.
And it looks like the Bow Titan wants to rotate. So I decided to wait for these guys a little, a little closer and then start to aggro. They didn't know I was there until I throw the nades. The nades took care of basically all of them. And the bottom time is now dead. Small patrol hiding in the back. I heard them and just want to make sure you take them all out so you have no bug creatures. Probably the main focus of Helldiver difficulty is just limit the amount of reinforcements that keep getting called on you. Because I've been here so long, I have all these jetpacks stacked up. So I can just bounce around a little bit quicker. It just saves me time. A little triple jump action going. I'm at the end of this objective. Basically at the end. I think that I, I had some time here to move, but this guy snipes me and it really, I was so disappointed because I didn't die yet. But first death, and now I'm in a pickle because I don't have my AMR, I don't have my jetpack, I have to go get it. But there's so many bugs over there. I decided to just call in a 500, because it looks like a Bile Titan will not be spawning. It would have spawned by now, uh, I'd say, because in my experience, it spawns fairly quickly. So just doing my best to stop everything we only need one more citizen to cross through and then we're done I jump over and this patrol of hunters are there and that's not what I want book it for this <laughs> book it for this jump pack and the heels and now I have full heals. Remember, the three supplies were being called down. The expendables have been called down. I have everything that I basically need, just in case you were to die. And I'm just funneling all of these mobs through here. Cool thing about the slugger is that it pens, so... You can get some enemies to line up. You can do damage to the ones behind it. How about a nice cup of liver tea? Slugger's just doing the work. But I wasn't watching my ammo count. Now that everything kind of is funneling on the opposite side, I have some leeway here and some time to call in the citizen and just escort him. All the bugs are wrapping around, so all they have to do is run and then we make it. Dropping a pin, south, 100 meters. And there we have it, mission complete. Um, from here on, I just head over to the extraction and, you know, make it out, but I don't, nothing really happens. I just waited there um, stealthily and I didn't really aggro anything. So I'm going to end it here and yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new um, and stay tuned for more. If you liked this video, if you learned something new, drop me a like. If you want some more, drop me a sub and, you know, look out for my lives. I feel like the channel has been growing very, very fast. Thanks for all the support and we'll talk soon, yeah?